the trademark moonsault to stop, to, I'm sorry, to start the match. And now, correct me if I'm wrong here, Ash Samuels, we get started out with this three-way dance. Is it me or does Teddy Hart have a bit of an interesting history with Matt Hardy? Just a bit. I mean, the two of them got signed together. There was the rivalry of, I mean, Matt and Jeff were called the best high flyers in the world, but look at what Teddy's doing. So I'd argue that Teddy yeah, would take that When you I mean, Teddy Hart or not, you can't go around doing backflips off the top rope at the start of a match with two fierce opponents like Cole Cabana and Matt Hardy in the squared circle. And he's paying the price right now. And a chop and a punch to the Serve face. Time, right. Matt Hardy going to work. Cole Cabana now going to work. And now together. This has become a handicap match. This is not exactly fair. Oof, that, that famous hard clothesline from Matt Hardy. And oh, here we go. Out of the Hardy boys. Colt's a little big for this, though. Oh! Not exactly what Matt Hardy was expecting, but effective nonetheless. And, and Colt apparently thinks that he's Jeff Hardy, telling Matt that they are the Hardy boys. Who knew? Clearly not a member of Team Extreme. No, not, Colt is not what you call Extreme. Oh my oh. God. Teddy Hart going in the hard way. Chester. Now they're gonna try to get this right. Here we go again, right in front of us. Here comes Colt. And Mac gets flattened. Beautiful missile drop kick by Hart. Well, no surprise there, Colt Cabana is the heftiest of the three competitors in this match. He is, and there's also history between himself and Teddy Hart over an incident revolving, involving a certain current WWE champion. But Teddy's showing, as he always does, why he is who he is. Hart. Oh! Good God Almighty! Oh my God. Teddy Hart just went through the ropes. Up on that through the guardrail also. Well, let's just hope that Teddy's okay and our fans are okay. This like a good situation, Peter Rosenberg. Hardy being rolled up by Cabana. All of the security tending to Teddy Hart. Cole Cabana and Matt Hardy have even stopped wrestling to see what the condition of Teddy Hart is because then did he take a spill on the outside or did he take a well, spill on the uh, outside? I, I think they kind of... They kind of just went back to to where they were, which... Well, it was a Matt Hardy versus Colt Cabana match, and that's where we are right now. Now the question is, will Teddy Hart be all right? That was a huge spill. That he was. got tossed from the ring like a piece of garbage. My God. And the question the is... The crowd's right. Use real guardrails. He went through the guardrail, although I got to say, had he gone that hard into a bigger guardrail, I think the situation would have been worse than it already was. One of the saving graces is we see security surrounding Teddy Hart, not the medical crew, and there's Teddy Hart back on the apron, a Hell real yeah. warrior straight from the heart of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Beautiful moonsault, rolls under the lariat. Cabana pushing him oh to the my floor. God. And Teddy Hart takes another spill, this one off the top turnbuckle, courtesy of Coke Cabana. And, and Matt Hardy now waiting. Hardy. Waiting in the cut as the action unfolds in the corner, and here comes Matt Hardy with an opportunity to take advantage and takes it right to Cole Cabana. Here comes the patented Hardy Bulldog right in the center of the ring. Driving Cole Cabana's goal. There's two. Cabana is up. I, I gotta Teddy. say, I gotta say, I, I, I don't. How, how, how can Teddy Hart continue? How, the, the, the second spill may have been as bad as the first, if not worse, because this time he came down from the top turnbuckle Ooh. after getting shoved by Cole Cabana. Can Teddy Hart pull it together? I mean, this guy is getting his ass kicked. I mean, maybe he's gonna crawl and get some relief from that little pussy by ringside. You saw him in the ring with it earlier. I, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know what he's gonna do to get back into the fray now. He's I don't wrestling know. smart. He's, he's allowing Cabana and Hardy to just drain themselves well, Teddy, Teddy's near us right now, trying to get some support. Teddy Hart is not just moves, guys. He plays the human game of chess. And I have a feeling that good vibrations are not in store for Colt Cabana or Matt Hardy. Well, Teddy now quietly trying to make his way into the ring from the far corner as Matt Hardy is taking advantage right now of Colt Cabana. 
But Teddy Hart crawls right back into the fray and is almost Cabana just riding out of the underneath. Way. And he's going back up to the top rope again? And Are you kidding me? Beautiful! And Teddy finally lands the moonsault. He's nursing that back. Oh! Sweet Classic. drop kick. Those are vintage Teddy Hart, although you can see every time he connects, he grimaces. Now Rolling here. DDT. Oh! oh! That is the Teddy Hart that we know and love. This is a heated way to do things in Rahway, New Jersey. Refuse to lose Pro Wrestling Syndicate. I'm Peter Rosenberg here with Larry Legend, the voice of Pro Wrestling Syndicate. And I got my buddy Ash Samuels here as we call Colt Cabana versus Matt Hardy versus Teddy Hart out of nowhere. His uncle Bret Hart was here earlier as our guest commissioner. And now Teddy Hart is getting the business from Chicago's own Colt Cabana. Say Colt Cabana's laying that boom, boom down on Teddy Hart right now. And there he is. Cabana using the bionic elbow to his advantage, but I mean, the clash of styles in there right now, the technical, I guess, goofiness of Colt Cabana combined with the hard-hitting aerial artistry of Teddy Hart. It's anyone's game at this point. Teddy going for the sure and I. Oh, oh, oh! Straight jacket, lung blower, and I gotta tell you, action only like this here in PWS. Who would have ever thought that we'd see Teddy Hart, Cole Cabana, and Matt Hardy all in a ring? This is legendary in its itself. It absolutely is, and this is not even the main event, ladies and gentlemen. Teddy Hart, there's something about Teddy Hart. There's a smoothness that comes when you've been in the ring since you were about 14 years old. Very, very true. There is there's a fluidity to the way he works. Oh, there, oh! oh. But there he's up on the Arabian press. Doesn't matter how fluid you are, you get two knees to the chest. I gotta tell you something. I think that Teddy Hart gets power from that pussy. That's why whenever he's on pussy the Pussy cat, Larry Legend. I'm sorry, yes, pussy cat. Every time that he's out on the outside of the ring, you notice him crawling over to his valet and that little pussy cat. Hard clothesline from Cole Cabana going for the cover. Two count only, and Matt Hardy kicks out, and Teddy Hart now again. Still in this match, though. He turned up in this one right now. You can tell by the look on Colt Cabana's face. He's not about games right now. Oh, hanging guillotine by Hardy. Cabana looks like he's trying to roll through it. I wonder what Hart has in mind coming back in there. Maybe two birds, one stone approach. Oh! I think Teddy was content to see Colt Cabana get choked out and then be able to deliver the knee to Matt Hardy and see both of his opponents now worse for the wear. Two for the price of one. Oh my now God. Hardy's starting to get dumped to the floor. I, 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 I'm starting to get this feeling that Hart is gonna go into the stratosphere again. Double Not leg takedown by Cabana. Cabana? Oh, Cabana's trying to lock oh, over the sharpshooter. Oh, no. oh, disrespect for the Hart family as Cole Cabana locks in this the sharpshooter. This cannot fly. Wait, what the, what's Hardy doing? Hardy, Hardy with the side effect there, taking out Cole Cabana. Hart grabbing at his back and Hardy, Hardy seems uh, Oh, twist of fate by Hardy. Vintage Matt Hardy, that One, should do it. Two. Colt Cabana breaks things up, and that is the danger of a three-way dance. The second you think you have someone pinned, don't forget, there's someone else waiting to break things up. Another Thank twist you. of fate, no. Oh, and uh, oh, oh, Billy Goat's curse. It's looking like he's got the Billy Goat's curse hooked. But watch Teddy Hart. Be very, very deceptive here. Oh! And the Western Canadian Destroyer. And there it is! Teddy Hart comes in with some vintage Teddy Hart. And ends it with some brand new Teddy Hart. What do you call that, Ash Samuels? That is called the West Canadian Destroyer, the Alberta Destroyer, however you want to call it. I just call it a pretty sweet effing move.
And look at that cat. That cat is a poised animal. Look, I gotta get one pet on this cat. She, so poised. You never see a cat this poised. The commentators love Mr. Money, folks. Mr. Money's the best. Teddy Hart gets the job done. Mr. Money likes what he sees. The fans here at Pro Wrestling Syndicate like what they see. Teddy Hart doing what he does best, flying all over this ring before scoring a ridiculous pinfall when you had no idea where it was coming from or what it was.